okay so when i run it this is how the program is looking now so i just need more component in here here and here i need a calculator in here i've already developed a calculator in uh, in eclipse so maybe i should just take a short call to come to the calculator there in eclipse just copy and paste or maybe we design one together but that will take a long time though but why not let's copy and paste it so you can always copy from eclipse to eclipse so that is the calculator i have developed before so i will then select it all and just copy copy it go into my restaurant management system double click come right here that's where i want my calculator you must select absolute layer that's it you can see the green border click and now before pasting my calculator i need i need a very component which is uh, j tab or you can just call it tab control that's my tab control right there let's just align it properly and take it down there. okay now for it to have the appearance of tab we now need to add need to add j panel to it as you click and let's drop it in there click that's it okay i have one panel there so i need to add another one that's it, I have all my panels in place. One of them will be used for my as a receipt while the other one will be used for calculator. Okay. So the next thing now is maybe if you want we can go inside the code and just change it around. That's it here. So that will be the receipt. So let's change that to receipt. Next one here that will be for the calculator. Right, so that's for the tab control. So come back in here. You see the names have has changed. So up here I have calculator. So that's for the that's the calculator tab. In the calculator tab, I will now drop the copied calculator right in there it's in there but it's not as i expect it to be so i'm going to undo and do that so we need this absolute layer as well you see you can see the green border click but that is how important the absolute layer is so when i paste my calculator now all we just need to do is to drag it and position it as we want right there that is my calculator in position next thing let's go to the let's go to the receipt there we also need an absolute layer on the receipt select the absolute layer drop it right in there click there now i need a text box that's it j text field come right in here okay and just aligning the way i want right there brilliant okay so we're getting somewhere if i choose to run let's run it and you guys see save and launch there so i can play calculator is not doing anything right now receipt is right there okay so let's just finish up with the design okay i will now speed up the design of the rest of the interface this is how it looks for now so let's just let me get that out of the way and i'll get back to you guys okay this is how this program is looking right now let me collapse this so that you guys can see it properly collapse this as well that's how it's looking so if i 
run it and drop this down you see there's nothing in there there's no drink to select so let's see there's drink there you can also enter how many drinks you want right in there so let's close that I will select this now and go to the property right here okay you see where it says mode click that and enter as follows those are the drinks that we appear on that very combo box okay and let's separate it let's use a separator I think there might be a separator here let's look for one uh, there we go we have a separator here select that I'll put place that in there okay that is it it seems a little bit too small it's selected anyway let's come in here change this to about five and these to maybe six design yeah that's it right there the separator is there let's move it back up there okay so let's just increase it and do that I think so. yeah might as well do it in the code so let's say 520 all right so if i run it let's run it now so that you guys see that and this is how it looks now we have the food here the drinks here and if we drop this down we can sell it what kind of drink you the customer wants okay so one more thing i just need to take care of this part of the program once that is done let me move this back up okay let's close that and move this back up take it back up yeah that's where it was okay i'm gonna copy this copy and here let's select absolutely yeah. paste it in there you can see the green border paste that in there okay let's copy it again copy absolutely yeah, i selected just paste it anywhere there yeah Nice. I now need to change the content in there. So, so let's go to the property right here and go to no, no, and enter in there as follows. Click on OK. So that would be for my currency converter. And let's copy this as well. Copy, paste it. And do that and to copy paste it in here okay and let's copy a label as well copy and paste that right in here that's it that's a label there now one more uh, two more things actually we need to create buttons we need a couple of buttons one here and one more here that we need let's go for four of those that's not gonna work we need absolute layer there first absolute layer there now we need buttons one Okay, this is how the system is looking let me run it and you guys see how it looks that's how it's looking finally and all I just need to do now is to start with the coding for your information each of these components has a name 
I've given them all a name so if I go to the property here select any of these you can see the name there that's uh, JBTN reset JBTN total JBTN receipt JBTN exit JBTN close JBTN convert and so on they all have names you can see the names okay one name is missing right here we need to get that sorted all right that'll be cost of name j j l d l cost of name all right that one is sorted as well so yeah okay they all have a name and that's it so let's double click on exit and enter the following lines of code for exit that is the exit code so if i run it now we can exit that's fine okay now let's take care of the reset button right here you can either right click and select add event handler and straight there go to action perform right there that's right in there enter as follows and right here those are the reset commands okay so from here up here I guess you guys can see it so let's run the program now and enter some data in there let's enter whatever in here and anything there we cannot enter anything in here because it's all labels change this around to maybe us or whatever and select a drink so let's click on reset button there that's fine working as expected try it again and reset there check out the exit there that works as expected that's those are the lines of codes one more time so let's go back in here and double click on total we need to take care of the total before taking care of the receipt double click on receipt or right click go to add event and action perform okay right in here and here the first part of the codes for total is from here and down here so maybe I should move this a little bit up Let's move this up so that you guys can see that. Alright, this belongs to this and this belongs to this. Okay, these are the codes for the cheeseburger, chicken burger, I mean. That's the code for chicken burger meal. And that's the code for, those are the codes for cheeseburger. Okay. Well, now that we've got the first part of the code, taken care of let's run it and see if I run this so if I enter the amount of each of the mill in there and select total there so all I now need to do is to be able to select drink and then enter how many in there for example so I expect the price of cola to be multiplied by the quantity here and if I click on home delivery, the home delivery will be standard. And the, the tax, I want the tax of everything worked out here. Okay, let's take care of that now. Reset, exit. Okay, let's take care of the home delivery. So what I'll do is double click on here. Let's use the if statement to get that sorted. So right underneath here, let's say we have home delivery there. So that's home delivery right there. So I'll just get break in there. And that is for home delivery. Okay. So if I 
this is the standard price for home delivery so if you enter nothing that will be zero so let's see so in this case if this is selected the checkbox if it's checked then uh, this variable is assigned to this variable right here this double variable is, assigned, is converted to this string variable which is then assigned to the label else the label will become zero so if I run it right now as you can see